Now coming to the thalamus. So what every sensation, whatever sensation from the dorsal column or the ventrolateral spinothalamic pathway, they are carried and they are reaching the thalamus. So from the thalamus only they are taken to the somatosensory cortex. So what is the function of thalamus? The thalamus is acting at a, as a relay station. It is acting as a sensory relay station. This is one point we have to remember. And thalamus is nothing but a gray matter of diencephalon. It is present, it is an ovoid structure which was present on both sides and it is it is a part of diencephalon. And it has an, a very uh, structure like this. Its structure goes like this, which will show you in the diagram also. This is the structure. I will explain the structure in detail. And here we have to know few more points about thalamus. All the sensory system sensations are carried through the thalamus except so exceptions are mcqs this exception is olfaction even though the recent studies have been done and recent study says that olfaction also passes through the thalamus but still for our mcq this is the best choice because this has been given in the older books and all the most of the examiners they follow the older books only and olfaction is the answer now coming to the another mcq all the thalamic nuclei are excitatory all of them are excitatory except except there is a thalamic uh, nuclei which is connecting inside the thalamus itself. There are some interconnections inside the thalamus which is done with the help of thalamic reticular nuclei. These are intrathalamic connections and they are the ones which are not excitatory. They produce GABA which is an inhibitory neurotransmitter and it is the only one exception there. And they sense the crude degree of taxal sensation. Everything goes to the somatosensory cortex but in lower animals the somatosensory cortex is not well developed. The thalamus is the one which is functioning for this sensation of touch and everything also. And the most important sensation that is the perception of pain, which we have already discussed in the nociceptors itself. The perception of pain is done at the thalamic level itself. And even the temperature sensation can also be perceived at the thalamic level itself. So these are the, some of the important points about thalamus. Now coming to the thalamus structure. The thalamus structure has three different parts. So thalamus is located like this. So it has a medial direction. So in the brain, it is located on two sides. So this side will be our medial side and this side will be our lateral side. So it has three divisions. The medial part is there. The anterior part is there. Then the lateral part. Anterior part is the one which is facing the front. So that is the anterior part and medial part and lateral part. And these divisions are done with the help of internal medullary lamina, which is the only exception. It is the only one which is sending the GABA neurotransmitter. So we will discuss about their functions of each of these parts. Their divisions are important, their functions are important. Coming to the anterior and medial part, they are little easier. We will just finish the discussion here. The anterior and medial part, the anterior only one tract goes in the anterior, which we again will be discussing in the limbic system also. It is the mammillary body. From the mammillary body of the hypothalamus, it goes to the thalamus. So that is also called as mammillothalamic tract. This mammillothalamic tract goes through the anterior nuclei and this forms the basis of limbic system and this forms the base. This is one of the connections in the limbic system, mammillothalamic tract, which is going to the anterior portion of the thalamus. This is important and limbic system is involved in emotions, emotions and behavior. Then coming to the medial part, the medial part is also involved in controlling the mood of the person and emotions of the person. So these two parts are easy. Anterior part, only one tract is going, which is the mammillothalamic tract. And the medial part has two divisions, that is the dorsal and ventral. But both of them are involved in the mood and emotions. So these tracts are very easy to, to remember. Coming to the lateral part, the lateral part has different, different nucleuses that we have to remember. So the coming to the lateral part, all this nuclei, if you want to remember, just uh, we'll try to remember it uh, in groups, but all of them are important. So it has two parts. One is the dorsal tier and another one is the ventral tier. Dorsal tier is the dorsal group of nuclei and ventral tier is the ventral group of nuclei. So let's start our discussion with the ventral part, which is very, very important. In the ventral, we have VA, which is ventral anterior, ventral lateral and ventral posterior. Ventral anterior is very, very important for cortical recruiting response. There is various connections going between to and fro from the thalamus to the cortex that is done with the help of ventral anterior. Then ventral lateral, there has not been a known function for it. But whenever this lobe was removed, what is happening? It was done as a treatment for essential tremor. 
these two are not so important the most important one is the ventral posterior the vpl already we saw vpl what does it carry it carries a somato sensation somatic sensation somatic sensations are carried here especially from which two tracks we already have seen we have it is doing it from the two tracks that is the dorsal column as well as the ventrolateral pathway and there is one troposto medial also lateral is carrying the sensation from the periphery of the body from the facial structures it is going to the ventroposto medial it is carried through which nerve in dorsal column i told you one nerve that is trigeminal plus it also carries one more sensation that is the taste sensations so these are the group of nuclei which is present on the ventral tear ventral tear the most important one is ventroposterolateral and ventroposteromedial which we have seen already now coming to another two group nuclei which is also part of thalamus but it is exactly a part of metathalamus it is called as lateral geniculate body and medial geniculate body this medial geniculate body when we discuss about hearing it passes through it so hearing sensation is carried through the medial geniculate body and lateral geniculate body carries the sensation of vision or the eyes so these are the group of nuclei then coming to the other tier that is the dorsal tier dorsal tier we have the lateral dorsal lateral posterior and pulvinar no need to worry about all the nuclei because all their functions are these pathway they do the sensory association that's it then pulvinar is also has been implicated in visual attention visual attention 